Salaam Ayy Jawano. So this worksheet is on physical quantities and let's have a look at three questions. The first question is a unit may be stated with a prefix that represents, as you can see, a power of 10 multiple or some multiple and you have to complete the table. So kilo is 10 to the power 3, tera, as you know, is 10 to the power 12. Now, underline the units that are SI base, SI base units. Units are meter, ampere, seconds, and you have that list of seven quantities. Remember that there's a difference between quantities and units. Here they're asking for units, not for the quantities. So if they ask you for quantities, then the quantities could be mass, length, time, etc., etc. But there, this question is about units, so make sure that you underline just the units. The potential difference V between two ends of uniform metal sphere, metal wire is given by this expression. They've given you the quantities and their percentage uncertainties and what are they asking you to do? They're asking you to figure out what is the percentage uncertainty in your density. So the first thing that you do from this equation is you make density the subject. Remember, whatever quantity they ask you to find the percentage uncertainty in, the first thing is always to make that quantity the subject of the equation. Once you made it the subject and you want to write out the percentage error, in percentage errors, you write percentage rho is equals to percentage V. Pi is ignored because in percentage errors, the units, the constants don't come. And four is also ignored because constants don't come. Plus, this is D squared. So you know that you have to bring the power down. So you write that as two percentage D because D square means that D came twice. So the error of D has to be counted twice. That's why you wrote two percentage D plus percentage L plus percentage I. This is your expression. And now they've given you the values over here. If you can see, they've given you percentage V, they've given you percentage D. So percentage D is basically two times three and then plus percentage L plus percentage I. And if you go here, I've already done it for you. So that's going to be 3.5 plus 6% plus 2.5 plus 2. And the answer that you should get is 14%. Next, they ask you to calculate the absolute uncertainty. Now, absolute uncertainty, always remember, is the percentage uncertainty times the actual value of the density. The actual value was 4.1 times 1 7. So basically, you're doing 14% of 4.1 into 10 is to power minus 7 and if you do that in your calculator 0.14 times 4.1 times minus 7 it should give you a very very small number let me convert to standard form so you should get 5.7 into 10 is to power minus 8 you could write 5.7 into 10 to minus 8 or yeah, you can write 5.7 or if you want to convert it to one significant figure, you could write it as 6 into 10 is to the power minus 8 because errors are usually written to one significant figure. Now, moving on to the next question, define density. Density is defined as mass per unit volume. You have a solid pyramid with a square base. Uh, the mass is given by this expression. Actually, this is mass and you have somewhat the volume over here and then you have again the density so this is basically the formula of density rearranged and the mass has been made the subject okay now the quantities are given the measurements are given and the percentage uncertainties are given and the first question again is value the absolute uncertainty in length x i just told you this um that if you want to calculate the absolute uncertainty, it is always your percentage error, which is 5% times the actual value. That will give you the absolute uncertainty. So 5% of 4. Let's do it. 5% of 4. And that gives you 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 is the answer. Let me write that down here. Next, the density is calculated from the table. From measurements in the table 1.1, determine the percent uncertainty in the calculated value of density. So again, because they're asking you for the percent uncertainty in density, you have to make density the subject of this equation. So take density out. So density should be 3m over hx squared. Now once you have this, what did I just tell you about constants? What do you do with them? You ignore them, exactly. So you can cancel out 
three because that's not needed. So percentage rho will be equal to percentage M plus percentage H plus two percentage X. Let's see. Yeah, so percentage M plus percentage H plus two percentage X. And they had already given you the values over here in the table, which you can see. So you can plug them here. And the answer that you get from here should be 14, no, not 14, that's six plus 10, 16%. 16%. Now, the square base of the pyramid rests on a horizontal surface. You have to calculate the pressure. Pressure is force over area, as you know. Um, the force is the weight. So the mass was 19.5 grams. If you go here, somewhere it's written. Where's the, where's the mass? Where's the mass? Where's where is the, yeah, here it is. The mass is 19.5 grams, so 19.5 into 10 to the minus 3 times 9.81 divided by x squared. Now, because it's a square base, so you know that the area is going to be this x into x. If you look at this diagram over here, they're basically asking you to calculate this area, which is x squared. So 4 into 10, four, it was 4 centimeters, so you could do 4 into 10 to the minus 2 whole square, or you could write it as 4 into 4 into 10 to minus 4. It's the same thing. 4 into 10 to minus 2 whole square. And this, what I've written over here, same thing. So calculate this carefully. And I always say this, that when you're using your calculators, you should use, let me zoom in, you should use the fraction mode because then that will help you in avoiding brackets. Because if you don't use the fraction mode, let's say your calculator does not have the fraction mode, then you will have to use brackets. Otherwise, your power of 10 will always go wrong. Remember this. So 19.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 times 9.81 divided by 4 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. So if you can see here, I have plugged in the values and I'll press the equal button and I'll get the answer straight up. 119.55. I can write it as 120 pascals. And... The third question, underline all the SI base units, again, ampere, Kelvin, these are the base units. Current is not a base unit, it is a base quantity, like I, I told you this earlier. Part B, S is V squared over 2A, so they're using an equation of motion. It's a straight, and you know that there are some conditions for equations of motion, do you remember them? What are the two conditions? Number one, it should be linear, the motion. And the second, your acceleration should be uniform. Acceleration should be constant. So, and which equation is this one? So it's V square is equals to 2S plus U square, or V square minus U square is equals to S, but you don't see U square. So what does that mean? That means that this has been taken as zero. So that means, what are the two conditions that apply to the motion of the car in order for the above equation to be valid? They've already given you one condition, which is straight line. So you can't write linear motion, but you can definitely write that the acceleration is uniform. And the third condition is that the initial speed must be zero. Now, an experiment is performed to find the acceleration of the car. You have to find the acceleration. So first you make acceleration the subject of this equation always. So acceleration is going to be V square over 2S and you're going to get 2.75 square, 2.75 squared divided by 2 into 3.89. So see, I'm not using the fraction mode. Therefore, I've given it a bracket. If I don't give it a bracket, I'll get the wrong answer. So whatever is in, in your denominator, the whole thing has to come in a bracket. So the answer that I get from here is 0.97 meters per second square, calculate the percent uncertainty, you know in percent uncertainties the constants can be ignored. So V square, what does that mean? You did this earlier. V square means V into V, so V is coming twice, so it's going to be two percentage V plus percentage S. Percentage V is 0.8 and percentage S is 0.5. So two into 0.8 plus 0.5. And your answer to this is percentage A is 2.1%. Use your answers to calculate the absolute uncertainty. Oh, I should be a master at this now. If they're asking to calculate what is the absolute uncertainty, 
that is always going to be your percentage uncertainty times the actual value of a now your percentage uncertainty was 2.1 percent and what is your actual value of a the actual value of a you call it over here was 0.97 so 2.1 percent of 0.97 and that gives you 0.02 and that's it